All right, let's go ahead and get this vlog started. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I make videos about my small business. I love taking you guys behind the scenes, showing you what I'm working on and giving you little tips and tricks along the way. So it is the week between Christmas and New Year's. Thankfully, I was able to take an entire week off of work, which I normally do at the end of the year. So I'm not focused on my other businesses that are my main hustle. I'm just at home, relaxing, enjoying my kids, doing things for myself um, to kind of jumpstart my personal goals and working on my small business. So we're going to start this vlog. It's probably going to be over the course of the next couple days because we have little fun things planned throughout this time. Um, it is 5 p.m. on Thursday and we need to get to work. We're going to head on over to the apricot room, which has kind of turned into my second studio space. There's little Cookie taking a nap and we're going to start by working on taking some photos of these new crystals that I got in that I need to get up and listed. I have no Valentine's Day items listed yet, which I'm way behind. So the first one going up is going to be this heart shape selenite crystal and then in a previous video i showed you guys these heart shaped containers but i didn't tell you what was going in there and unfortunately i lost all the footage for the unboxing so we're gonna go ahead and pack them with crystals and make some labels so we're gonna work on that first I'm going to show you guys how I list my listings on Etsy. I am going to go ahead and first type in a broad search term. So I'm typing in selenite, which is going to give me an idea if this is kind of a trending term. So right now you can see 1,421 people monthly are typing in that word. Then I'm going to use the filter and I'm going to filter by physical item and star selling items. Once I do that, I'm also going to go to the top of the search bar and I'm going to change the star seller to best seller. And then this is going to sort and tell me which listings are selling the most in this category. And basically I use this information to see what keywords and phrases they're using. The first row is typically Etsy ads. And then after that are listings. So you can see this listing right here looks kind of similar to my product. And I'm just going to use this to see the keywords that they have in their titles. And this ever be extension that I'm using allows me to look at the analytics and see the actual key phrases and how much volume those key phrases are getting. So you don't want to do the most competitive keywords. You want to do something in the middle and you definitely don't want to copy the listings, but this helps me put the titles and descriptions in for my items. Part of owning a business is knowing your expenses and the cost of goods. Knowing the cost of goods helps you effectively price your products, knowing what to charge and what your profit margins are. Once I got serious about this step, I felt more confident in my listings and also keeping track of my inventory and all of my expenses make my business run more effectively and smoothly. Whether you're an Etsy seller, thinking about being an Etsy seller, or just want to get your items seen, here's some tips that really helped me. When it comes to your title, make sure you're using all 140 characters. Your photos should be clear and concise, and make sure you adjust that thumbnail. In the description box, you can use other keywords and phrases. There's no need to duplicate them. Always have a link back to your Etsy shop so people can shop your specific items. When it comes to tags, use all 13 tags and be creative with these. 
what purpose does your item have for others and what might they search for to find it? Also, one other thing, when I put a listing out there, I like to duplicate the listing and put it in another section. So for example, this is in my crystal section, and then I'm also going to make another listing under my $10 and below. The more listings you have, the more likely they are to be seen. It's Friday, it's the next day, and we're going to continue working on our listings. I did get a bunch of my new crystals up on the shop, and then I've been working on some designs under my second shop. I'll link those below. So for any of you makers out there, small business owners, and you wanna check those out, I am now selling the PNG files. They could be used personally or even commercially. So that took me a long time last night to get everything listed. And now we're gonna go ahead and take some photos and get this one listed. These are the crystals inside the little container. Not exactly how I envisioned it. Um, I wanted to put like a felt piece on the bottom and then I really wanted to be over the top with the label. But for right now, I just need to get them up. So we're gonna get some photos and then I'll work on that at a later time. So let's go ahead and pack our order and take some photos. This order is going to California. They ordered one of our Hamza Han incense holders. I pour these by hand using cement and plaster. This is the white colored one. And while I pack this order up, I'm going to answer some of your questions when it comes to packaging. I'm putting this particular item in a five by seven box that I get from Amazon, and I'm putting it in a 10 by 13 bubble mailer. I also use Pirate Chip to get my labels. This allows me to put in the weight and the dimensions and give me different quotes for different carriers like UPS and FedEx. I do not have a thermal printer, so I just print and cut them out. Some more beer glasses. I'll link these below. I get these off of Amazon. They come very quickly. I do also save the packaging and these boxes for my wholesale orders. So it comes with the lid and it also comes with the straws. Okay, my five-year-old is yelling for me. So let me go see what she needs. I'm coming. All right, I'm getting a little frustrated. I have been at this all day long. Everybody is home, still on vacation. And so there's constant noise and just things going on and distracting me. But besides that, which I'm sorry if you can hear the kitchen sink in the background, um, the weather is not cooperating. So part of the reason why I haven't been able to get my listings up is because I haven't been able to get good photos, which is so frustrating. And it's kind of ironic, I just got a comment on my recent video, my last video, that said, hey, what do I do? How do I get started? This is something I'm struggling with. I hear you, I still struggle with that. As a creator, as an artist, all I wanna do is come up with ideas and make them. <laughs> this whole like writing descriptions and titles and taking photos can really like, uh uh. So anyways, I don't like negativity. We're gonna keep moving forward. Here are some things that have helped me. Number one, I didn't know this when I got started. This is gonna help you if you're selling certain products. So sweatshirts, t-shirts, mugs, beer glasses, check Etsy or other places for mock-ups, okay? And a mock-up is basically a professional photographer that took a photo and then you know, all you have to do is place your design on it and boom, you have a photo. But I know that's not gonna work for everyone, especially if you have handmade items like I do, something like this, or even something like this. This is where I get frustrated because my lighting in my house is not that great. 
and I have gone down the route of working with a professional camera and professional lighting, but I'm not a professional photographer, so I don't know how to use it. <laughs> so the best thing that I have learned is trying to take your photos outside when you can, or I'm gonna show you here in a minute, a little mini photo shoot setup that can help you grab the natural light from outside. If that doesn't work, I recently found a app called Photo Room, which allows you to snap a picture, any surface. It could be on your workstation, which is a mess, and it will remove the background and you can place in a new background. They have tons of templates and you can actually type in what you want in the background and it will generate something for you. So if you wanna check out some of my listings and my product photos, some of them are actually through that app. So that's something that's really helped me. Um, I don't like to spend a lot of time editing photos and trying to, you know, mess with the contrast and the brighting and the lighting. That's just, I don't have patience for that. <laughs> But anyways, I'm going to show you what I'm working with right now, and I hope this helps. If you have any comments or suggestions, put them below. Um, I'd love to hear um, what your advice would be as well. One of the things I like to do is go around the house and find little items that I can use in my photo shoot. Well, that's the end of today's video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I hope to see you next time.